Okay, so just a quick one for everyone with an old um, car radio, it doesn't have to be Mercedes, but we're talking before 2004, uh, the ones especially that just read the audio CDs, uh, not the MP3 ones, because by that time the uh, optical mechanisms have gotten, I'd say, good enough. But with these ones, you'll see that if you have a modern disc, and by modern I mean anything after Shit, I think it was 2005, so we're talking about the 700 megabyte ones, 80 minute. Uh, these drives will have a significant problem finding the track, so they'll spend anywhere between half an hour and 30 seconds, right, just to find the track. And it'll make this sound on this particular radio, but it shouldn't be too different on the other ones. And basically in this time it's trying to find the track, right? It's constantly seeking, trying to find the groove that it's supposed to be reading. I have no idea why it's so bad, but it is very bad. Especially in the Mercedes radio case. And I've heard it from other people that uh, it's not unique to my player. Um, I have actually uh, wiped the, the front of the laser. This is, I would say, pretty poor design from Alpine to have all these holes. So this mechanism, the, the laser goes around here, so it does have something immediately above it, but still it's going to get a lot of shmoo on it. I think the guy smoked a lot that had this radio, so there was a, a layer of, I don't know, some milky thing that, that went really, it was very difficult to clean off. But I did clean it, I don't know if the prism has it, and the back of the lens, it should be better, but anyway I wiped the, the front of the lens. I've actually bought a can of... Uh, uh, a can of compressed air. Um, that's actually not needed because what I also did is I got myself a jumbo pack, so a hundred of these. Uh, and these are 650 megabyte discs. Um, so basically the old school type of uh, medium. And I wrote the same thing to it. And so you saw how much that took. And by the way, uh, this is supposed to look like this. This is the part you write on. All right, come on, get it. Well, now I screwed with the radio. Okay. And it's playing. Immediately. So what I have going on here is... Um, is basically a Bluetooth uh, setup whereby the disc is a silent track. But I still need it to play, right? And if you'll write songs to it, it'll be the same. So this is coming from the, the iPad over there via Bluetooth. And again, we can try this one more time. So the disc is stopped. And boom, we're playing. So absolutely instantly, as it should be, the, the optical mechanism is fine. You need the, the old discs. Have a good one, guys.